praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you I had a second video. And this is another, thus saith the Lord. God said that we are more in bondage than we ever was, more in slavery than we ever was. And this is about the entertainment industry. This is about everybody, really. You got, this is even about gay people. And I love everybody. I'm not bashing everybody, but I just got to be obedient unto God. If you're going to sell your soul to the highest bidder, that's slavery. If you're going to bend your butt over, oh, I'm going in tonight, hallelujah, as a man and let another man do whatever he got to do for some money, you are enslaved. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's go back in slavery days. And some of you might know, might not understand slavery days. Slavery days, they used to call it a buck which was actually the black man and what they would do in front of the other slaves let's say he tried to run away right and he was like a big muscular guy what they would do is they would say bring the buck and then they would actually rape him in front of his family in front of the other slaves to try to intimidate everybody come on somebody hallelujah excuse me i told you i'm still going through with my throat but that's all right the devil's lie so they would try to intimidate him and and so the other slaves would run away or would actually get into order God says we're doing the same thing today. I mean, I say they're doing the same thing today. Let me tell you something. It is still slavery. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all are doing everything for money, even on jobs. God say that it's not of God. You will do whatever that person said. And it don't have to ma It doesn't matter about color because we are in a feral system. And when you are a feral system, baby, you are enslaved. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God then told some of you to come off them jobs, but you know you're going to lose everything. Can I tell you something? You're talking to somebody that then lost everything. But I tell you one thing. I gained Jesus. It don't matter. Yes, I lost it all. I lost friends. I lost this. I lost that and it was a hard experience but I promise you I, I found God and I went through years of it if anybody know my testimony I went through years living with people doing this I, I was asking myself God am I an apostle for real am I even saved am I even anointed and, and I said God what was that about he said I was teaching you how to depend on me well come on somebody even when people did you wrong I didn't want you to be mad at them I didn't want you to get on here and talk about them he said I was trying to teach you to depend on me and to understand and not only that he said I was called Calling you from out of the world. He said, because when you detach from the world, then you can hear me. You can see me. You can feel me. You are moved by my spirit. Y'all don't understand? What am I saying? Are you more connected to the world or to God? You need to be real with yourself. Because if you get to the position that you'll do anything for money, that you'll lie for it, that you'll have sex with the same sex, that you'll steal for it, that you'll convert. Oh, I'm about to go here. God ain't going to tell you to go to the world to get a blessing. The devil is a liar. And so are you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to tell you, stop compromising people of God. Stop doing what you know God did not tell you to do. Oh, I got to go here too. When I talked about friends earlier, if, oh Lord, tell me how to say this. If you got anybody in your life that's not serving God, you need to let them go. I'm sorry. I'm just being real. Because guess what? They're attaining your anointing. Because here's the deal. What's going to happen, you're going to end up acting like them. You ever been around somebody that cursed? I promise you're going to slip up and curse till you be like, wait a minute, I don't even curse. That's because... Assimilation and association, they actually happen. Anything that you hang around, anything that you feed on, you become. Any person that you hang around, birds of a feather flock together, baby. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So we have to repent before God. God, keep me. God, change me. God, please, God. I don't want to die. I don't want to go to hell. Because there's a spiritual death that happens before you literally die. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that this is perilous times. These are the times that Timothy talked about. These are the times that Daniel talked about that the enemy will think to wear out the sinks. And some of you are getting wore out because the enemy are lying to you, the world lying to you. If you don't have this and you don't have this, then you must not be saved. The Jones never existed. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Everybody want to be the Jones, right? Who was the Jones? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The world then came into the church and obtained the church mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. And it is time for us to come out. We stop having the standards of God. Oh, that's too much. Y'all ain't got to do it that way. This the new wave. Can I tell you something? The new wave taking people to hell. Can I tell you something? This new generation is not anointed. Oh, and I'm not saying everybody because you got a few. You got a few. Very few. 
So I pray that you understand what these lives are about because I don't just get on here to play games. I don't have time for that. We don't have time for that because I'm telling you right now, it's high time. I'm telling you what does said the law. It's high time. Things are moving quickly in the spirit. They already, I'm telling you, martial law coming. Just like a lot of people, let's be real. Let's, let's talk about it. Well, you said this and you said this. I admit straight up that I might have said something that I probably should have waited for that conf confirmation. But that man will come back as president of the new world order. And when he come back, <laughs> My God, my God. It's almost like King Saul. Y'all wanted a king? God, I'm finna give you a king. And just because we have the same color don't mean nothing. Thank you, Lord. I'm going here tonight. Some of y'all gonna get mad, get mad. Who ushered in gay marriage? The Bible says, being a friend of the world is enmity with God. Anything that God hate, you should hate. I didn't say the person because God is a God of love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's time for us to stop playing this game. Just because somebody look good, somebody just because somebody sound good, sound like God, look like God. If it ain't God, you should know what God says because my people know my voice. Hallelujah. So it's not to try to bash nobody. I'm just telling you what thus said the Lord. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Hallelujah. Because God is coming. Jesus is coming. And guess what he said? I'm coming for a spotless church. A holy church. Because holiness is still real. Ain't nobody want to be holy no more. Oh, come on somebody. Everybody want to be hip. Let me tell you something. Ain't no hip. and Ain't no how. Because if you ain't unknowing it. And, and thank you, Lord. I hear you. What are you using your gift for? And I'm going to be very transparent about something. Um, I'm getting ready to do a conference. And I know y'all know that I'm a chef and everything. And, and I've been pushing Chef Didi. And I, I do this on purpose so y'all can understand. I had to repent. I said, God, I've been pushing Chef Didi more than the conference. I repent. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. God wants us to put him first. Oh, y'all don't, don't hear me. It has to be him first in everything we do and everything we say. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. It don't matter what nobody else think of what nobody say. Because when you stand in front of God on judgment day, what you going to say? What you going to say? Because you ain't going to be able to lie. I want you to think about that. And I'm going to leave you with that. Hallelujah to his name. God loves you. He wants you to make it in, y'all. I'm telling you, a lot of people dying. A lot of people dying. A lot of people dying. And just because you put a little shirt, R.I.P. and wings don't mean they're going to heaven. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lots of soldiers, for this is who we are. God bless.